Welcome back to the Daily Reptile. I might look a mess because I just got out of the water surfing. But Tyson just had a fresh shed. And not much in the reptile world looks better than a freshly shed white lip python. And look at the iridescence literally everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. Wow. Look at the head. Oh, buddy. Insane. I love that gold undertone. It is so good. Speaking of Tyson, my buddy Kyle, who I got him from, just posted a picture of of Tyson's uncle. Check this out. Look at all that gold. It's insane. I'm kind of hoping Tyson gets some of that. He started to show it a little bit, but not quite that much. See it there? See all that gold? But I'm not sure. Also up here, all that gold. I would be super stoked if this little dude gets that way. And I have a good feeling about it. He could be the prettiest snake I have. No, no joke. Even under the lights just in the reptile room, which aren't that nice, he still looks so freaking pretty. Right, bud? Ooh, so good. Say hi to Marlon Banano. He is not iridescent. So have you ever wondered why snakes are iridescent and some snakes aren't? Well, the reason some snakes are iridescent is because of something called the thin film effect. So imagine a snake's scales are teeny tiny mirrors and they're stacked incredibly thin. Kind of like if you were to take saran wrap or clear wrap and, and wrap it around a bunch of times. Kind of like that. When sunlight or a flashlight hits those layers, sunlight bounces off the top layer, some of it goes through and bounces off other layers, and because those layers are so thin, when the light bounces off, it mixes in a bunch of weird waves. Some colors get stronger, some colors disappear, and that's what makes those rainbow colors pop out. Just like the shiny swirls you see in soap bubbles or in oil spilled in water. When the snake moves, or you move the snake, the rainbow changes and the colors change because the light is hitting the scales at a different angle. Marlin is just moving and grooving. He's got my wrist all tied up. Anyways, that thin film effect is why snakes like Tyson or Ambrosia or Rainbow Boa look like they're covered in rainbows and shifting colors when they're in the right light. But Willie, not all snakes have iridescence. For instance, Marlin Banano, he does not have much iridescence at all. In fact, almost none. Well, there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, how smooth and shiny their scales are. Smoother scales just bounce light better. If you looked at my Japanese king rat snakes, they have keeled scales. It doesn't bounce light very well at all. Number two, how perfect the tiny layers are. If the layers are just the right thickness, those rainbows get super bright and those colors get super vibrant. Number three, how clean and healthy the scales are. That's why Tyson, who just went through a fresh shed, looks so good because a fresh shed is like taking Windex and cleaning off all the dust on a window. It just makes it really pop. And that's why right before a snake sheds, when that top layer of skin gets real cloudy and dull, the iridescence fades. It's almost like looking through a dirty window at a rainbow. It's just dull and not vibrant. Iridescence can also be a sign of health. If a snake isn't kept in the right humidity or with the right husbandry, the scales can lose some of their smoothness and shine, thus losing some of the iridescence. And if you've ever tried to take a picture or video of iridescence on a snake, you know that some of it is just the lighting or the camera. The camera never picks up the iridescence. At least that's what we all tell ourselves. And that's all for today's daily rep. I really have to get back to editing this carapace conservation video because there's so much cool stuff in it and I really want to share it with you all, but it is a beast. So I'm going to jump back into that. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night or whatever time you're watching this and we'll catch you soon. Peace. Say bye, Marlon. He says bye. Look up. What a pretty boy he is, huh? Marlon doesn't always get the most love on the channel because he's a ball python and he's not any crazy species or crazy morph, but he's, he's such a good boy. Gotta love him. Okay, that's all. Peace.